Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you configure NTP server on a Windows machine as well as on a Cisco CSR router. The lab which we are using today is we have been Windows 10 installed on a server and on top of Windows 10 we have a VMware workstation and on that VMware workstation we have Cisco Unified Communications Manager which we are trying to install. As you see right now, we this installation is stuck on the NTP server, which says is inaccessible at this moment. Uh, so you see there are two NTP server mentioned here. So 192.168.1.100. This is the Windows 10 machine's IP address. And another NTP server is 192.168.1.140. And this is the Cloud CSR uh, 1000 series router, which is hosted on this particular VMware workstation so what i'm going to do is today i'm going to show you two ways how do you configure the ntp server on a windows machine as well as on a cisco csr router so the first thing to enable ntp server on a windows machine is something i've created a file which is a exe file so first i'll let you know like what it does is basically the exe file has this registry keys embedded into it so when you run this application as an admin so this uh, keys are installed in your machine so this will enable your ntp server on your machine on your windows machine now the next thing what you need to do is you need to stop and restart your windows time so Instead of doing this manually, I have created a exe file which you run as admin. Right click, run and run as admin. So once you run this particular application as admin, you see the operation completed successfully. You have re received this successfully message three times. So which means the three entries have been successfully added. And you see at the last you have received means your Windows time service was started and there was no issues. Uh, so the task is completed now the windows server or windows machine is made as ntp server now so the thing you need to make sure is either you allow one two three ntp ports on your firewall as well as antivirus or else you disable antivirus and the firewall because there will be no communications between your call manager and the windows machine if you enable antivirus and firewall and do not allow these ports to be communicated. So make sure either you allow 123 port number UDP port on the firewall as well as antivirus or else you disable firewall and antivirus. So I'm going to log into this router, which is a Cisco CSR router. So if you see the IP address 192.168.1.140, the IP address is correct. So I'm going to configure NTP master on this machine. I have put the command NTP master one. One is a stratum value. And then I'm going to put as NTP source gigabit ethernet one. So I'm using this as a NTP source. And then I'm going to set the clock time zone I am going to mention is IST 530, which is we are ahead of uh, GMT, which is five hours, 30 minutes. So once this is done, I'll wait for a few minutes uh, so that the NTP is synchronized. So right now, if you see, the NTP is un unsynchronized. So we'll wait for a few minutes and see if it comes up. Hey guys, we are back. So let me try to log in and see if the NTP is working fine. Show NTP status. Yes, so we see here the clock is synchronized. So now let's see if the call manager is now able to access all the NTP servers. So let's give it a try. Here we go. So now we see the Windows machine, which is acting as a NTP server is accessible. Now 1.140, which is acting as a CSR 1000 series router as NTP server, which is also accessible. So I hope this video is informative for you guys. Thank you for watching.